Let's all settle in and let's begin to get comfortable in our spot. Let our eyes just gently close or just cast them down to a spot where you won't be distracted. And let's just check in with ourselves for these first few breaths and really get a sense of how we've arrived to this moment. For some of us, it's an easy, gentle pace. For others, we, we rush and we do all the things we have to do and then the time starts. And none of those are right or wrong, but we have to be aware of how we're arriving so that any potential distractions can be set to the side. So just kind of check in with yourself and see, how do I feel? What is my breath like? What things are jumbling up in my mind right now? What parts of me are tired? And then just get the sense of the totality of you in this moment. And just honor that. Again, it's not right or wrong. It just is. It just is. And be okay with that. And as we've arrived, let's begin to collectively join our breath together. So just take a nice, slow, deep breath in. And let's just sigh this one out. And a slow, deep breath in. And again, just sigh it out. One more like that, a slow breath in. And sigh it out and then let those few breaths collectively help guide you into a rhythm of breath that works for you and as you find whatever rhythm that is for you for our few minutes that we have together I want us to think about how often we smile I was reminded of the importance of that and how naturally it comes in certain situations this morning. We were standing on our mats and everybody in the class was in this beautiful tree pose. I think there were 16 of us and each tree looked a little bit different and we balanced a few times along the way and we finally got to this, this culminating tree toward the end of class and I offered them an option. First option was stay right where you are and just feel grounded and strong and mighty as this tree. But the next option was to begin to lift our arms and bend our elbows like cactus arms and just begin to let our heart just shine forward so that not only were we strong and mighty and grounded, but our heart was radiating right from the center of us. And as we all stood, I actually said to the class, and if it feels right, smile. And I didn't look around, I stayed in my own space, with my own attention, on my posture, on my breath, on my balance. But I could just feel the smile just radiating across my face. And then the pose ended, we did it on the other side, I offered the same thing and then the class began to quiet down. We lay there in Shavasana. We prepared to leave. But there was a student who stopped me on the way out. And he said, thank you for reminding me to smile. And in that moment, we had this conversation about sometimes we get so focused and our, our jaw clenches and our face gets very concentrated because we don't want to wobble or fall. We really want to we want to honor the posture. But he said, thank you for the reminder that those poses need to express the joy that's within us. And so my first challenge to you is, if and when you stand on your yoga mat the next time, just notice how often you smile. But then I kind of sat with that conversation all day today. And I thought, I wonder, if we see our meditation practice the same way. 
We come into this posture, this seated position, this lying down on whatever way you found your, your, your spot today. Most often we show up this familiar place. Sometimes we switch, but often it's the same spot again and again. And so we have this rhythm, we have this schedule, and those things are so good. But do we also have joy? Not the joy that we know we get from this practice, the peace, the calm, the contentment, not the byproducts, not the impact of it. But do we feel the joy in the practice? Could you say to yourself, sitting on my meditation cushion or sitting in my meditation spot, I can't help but smile. And maybe it's an expression on your external face. Maybe it's an expression internally. Or maybe, like my student this morning, you just have to be reminded of the joy of this practice. I know that we hold on to all the impacts of it. We feel it when we leave. We feel the calm in our spirit. We feel the ability to respond differently to the things that life brings. We feel this, this stillness in our mind. But do we feel joy about the practice itself? And so I want to just pause there. Let's just each sit for just these next few breaths and just check in. It's not a judgment. It really is just a reminder of, have we ever thought about it? You stand in these yoga postures, your heart shines forward and you smile. What about here? Just check in and notice. And as you become aware of just how you approach this practice, I thought it might be helpful if we kind of break it down into different, different points, different parts. We all thrive on predictability. Even if you're like me and you love change and you love spontaneity, each one of us deep down, we really do feel comfort with predictability, with having schedules that we can count on. And so just think first about your meditation practice and the predictability of it. Some of you have an evening practice that stays with you every day. Some of you have a morning practice. Some of you have both. Some it's during points of the day. But just think about your regular showing up time and how comforting that feels. That is a reason to smile. Because we live in a chaotic and unpredictable world. Even the things that we think are predictable can change before we even know it. But this practice, this showing up, just feel within you how comforting it is to have the predictability of it. To know that this is my time. This is my showing up. And that brings me joy. And then notice your physical location of where you are. If you're seated, notice how the ground is just holding you right there. It's by the chair or by the cushion or on the carpet. But notice what's underneath you. You're supported. If you're lying down, feel the way the support is across your shoulder blades, your back and the back of your head. And let those things bring you joy as well. There's this safety 
in how we sit or how we position ourselves in meditation. And just like we all kind of crave and thrive on predictability, we also need safety and security. That's what this physical spot represents. And that is another reason this practice can bring us joy. And then notice what it's like to have your eyes closed. And while you can still kind of see the light coming through your eyelids, and you can still hear sounds in the room around you, and you can still notice those little distractions, there is something so beautiful about gently closing the eyelids and coming into the here and the now. That physical act of closing the eyes it triggers things within us that says, I'm going to be here right now. I'm going to let all those sounds around me, all that activity, all those things that I need to be doing and I have a list that needs to be completed. I'm going to let it all go and gently close my eyes and bring my presence here. And that is another reason to smile. And then finally, the fourth part of our practice, the predictability of the schedule, the space that holds us here, the closing of the eyes. Then there is that beautiful breath. That thing that we take everywhere. But we always remember when we come to meditation and we show up that the breath can usher us out of the frenzy and out of the doing into the calm and into the being. That is another reason this practice can make us smile. And so I would invite you, let's just sit and notice and be joyful doesn't have to always manifest in a smile on your face. But with the eyes closed and the body comfortable and the time yours, feel the joy within. Don't wait for the byproduct and the impact to come when the practice ends. Feel it now. Just as if you've stood on a yoga mat and you've lifted those arms and you've shined that heart forward. Feel that same joy here. Checking in with your awareness, noticing what thoughts are in your head, where is there stillness within your body, within your emotions, within your mind. And then just think, this is a habit. We all have many habits. There are some habits that we do out of drudgery 
Laundry is a habit. Washing our dishes after a meal, those are habits. Chances are we don't approach those with joy and excitement, that we realize they're just things that we must do. Those are habits. But this habit of meditation is different. Yes, it has a predictability, just like the clean clothes becoming dirty, needing to be cleaned again. But the difference here is that we choose this habit. There's not a sink full of bad things around us, forcing us to meditate. There's not a list telling us it's time. This habit was our choice. We brought it into our life and we've continued to cultivate it. That makes it a habit of joy. I hope that each time you pause and you show up and you sit and you close your eyes and you breathe, you can feel joy. I know that as you leave your practice, you'll continue to feel joy. This peace, this calm, it will go with us and allow us to transcend beyond the stress and the noise of this world. But I encourage you to really challenge yourself in the, the coming days, the coming meditation times. Sit in the joy. Be happy about the predictability of the showing up. Be happy about the comfort and the safety of the spot where you are. Feel joyful about your ability to gently close your eyes and come into the here and now with no distractions. And be just as joyful about what this breath ushers us into and ushers us away from. This practice truly is one of joy. And just like standing in a yoga posture with your heart radiating, the heart is radiating here as well. So let's take this joy off our cushion, off our spot. Let it inform and inspire the rest of today and in the days to come. And let it be a habit that is inspired and filled with joy. Namaste. Thank you.